What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome, 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 McSchmelcom. Schmelcom in the middle. I mean, I'm pretty sure Fracture Identity is the best card in this pack. Uh, like Opposition, like Sky for Clave Apparition. Urz is cool, but Fracture Identity is pretty much head and shoulders above all those other nerds. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. Lucian Kirby, thank you for the sub. Really, for Danny for the gifted sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, buddy. Yo, say hi to my friend Jose that I'm making watch you. Jose, what up? I think we're just taking Orzov's Signet here. Shark Typhoon's cool and all, but Signet's helpful. It ramps us in a color that shouldn't be rampable. What can you do? So we have a stipulation from Shanala. Let's do that one. Shanala's stipulation is you can draft whatever you like. Better not steal my money by drafting things you don't like or YouTube will hear about it. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to draft what I like. Hopefully, Shanala will be okay with that. Thank you. Dr. Vinny Boombots, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Jose with the 20 bucks. Oh, man. Jose, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Man, Jose's already coming in clutch. It was a holiday miracle. I'm just taking this Dak Faden, right? And then maybe we're like Jess guy. Yeah. I mean, this is a third pick Dak Faden. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay. I see Danny. I see how you're going to be. Oh, time warp. I'm going to I'll time warp. We could also take this Omnath. <laughs> I really kind of hope Omnath comes back because I'm, I'm in the mood to make sure that make that work. But for now, I'm going to take time warp. Jared, you guys, you guys know time warp is just time walk, except for it lets you, uh, it lets you pay three more mana. I say lets you because it's a privilege. I like vision. I also like mull drifter. Hmm. I think I like mull drifter better. I, I think mull drifter is just a little more versatile. Oh, riftwing cloud skate. Okay. Also Nahiri and wandering fumarole. I mean, these are like... What's a Mulganig? Mulgunig? What are you saying right now? I, I don't actually think it's land. I think we can probably... I think we're going to be fine in lands. I think I'm actually, I think I just want the Nahiri, to be honest. Especially with a time warp. Oh, an Ulamog? Yeah, we're taking an Ulamog, especially now that we took Nahiri. That's, see, that's what we're talking about. That's the kind of payoff we're looking for here. Control magic? I do like a control magic. Okay, this is, this is looking pretty sweet. Opposition came back? That's a bit much. We don't have an opposition deck, but... I don't think it's stomping ground. I actually don't think it's... We'll just take Miria's call. It feels weird passing opposition, but that's not where we are in our lives right now. I'll take a brim as King of Cats. My hair is, like, so poofy right now. I really need a haircut. It's really thick. Do you dye your hair? No, no, I don't dye my hair. <laughs> it's very weird. Uh, Felt our retreat's fine, I guess. Uh, the Omnath did come back. Oh, so did Shatter Skull Smashing, though. I think we're going to realistically take the Smashing. I think Vermaz counts as a soul and sit. Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't necessarily want it, but, you know. 
Oh, oh god, things are happening. Oh god. Okay. Worm coil engine. Even that's pretty sweet. Uh, whatever, I'll take a call. And a Kithian. Thank you! Anyone going to ask if the carpet matches the drapes? Why would anyone ask that? That's a super weird thing to ask. Emrakul is fantastic for Nahiri, and it's also really great if we pick up through the breach or sneak attack, which is possible here. Um, we could also be splashing the white. We could also be a red-blue deck splashing the white. I, honestly, I think it's Emrakul here. I think we're I think we're on on course to to draft a decent sneak attack slash through the breach deck. And then we might change the stiff because we have a stip from Unforgiven to draft Sneak Attack through the Breach, Eureka, any two of the three would suffice. Factor Friction, Happy New Year, buddy. You know, tomorrow anyway. The stip is not all three, no. Uh, Oath would work, but we wouldn't be able to play any creatures. Like, we could play Muldrift, I guess. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. Maybe not. I don't know. Huh. Okay. It's not super exciting. What up, Kyers? I mean, P and Kieran Alar is probably fine. Thran Dynamo is okay. Um, it doesn't really like it. We're, I, I doubt we're going to be Ulamogging with the Thran Dynamo. So he's still going to need eight mana. I mean, I'm, I'm actually tempted to take Ashok because we already have Orzhov Signet. We could pick up other lands, but it just seems really ambitious. I mean, alternatively, you could just pick up, like, PN Kieran LR, which is totally fine. And on color. I think this is probably the safer pick. Uh, it's not It's not a better pick, but it's it's safer. Flame Slash is fine. I don't think we're time spiraling here. Yeah, we can just flame slash. Zealous Conscripts is nice. I'm going to take the Celestial Colonnade. As much as I love a Zealous Conscripts, we need some sort of fixing. We have none yet. Kiki Jiki. Oh, God. I guess it's Needle Spire. So now we have all... We have two... We've seen all three of the... Um, all three of the creature lands that are available. Marsh Flats. I like Marsh Flats. Marsh Flats will let us get several things. Presumably we pick up a Plateau, a Sacred Foundry, a Hollowed Fountain, a Tundra. I like Fire Ice. Fire Ice is pretty sweet. That is a late Crater Hoof and people have no respect. Could just take Pyroclasm here. It's actually probably fine. Oh, look, the Oath of Druids came back. Uh, I think we're actually disenchanting here. Do we have anything to disenchant? We actually have Nahiri Dak Faden. Probably not Burst Lightning. I mean, we're hoping for Black Lotus or Mox in the next pack, right? Or Time Walk. Or Ancestral.
Oh, I don't actually hate Gruel Signet. <laughs> it's not on color, but it's still a, it's still a red Signet for us, and it's pretty sweet. Condemn. All right. Sure. Wear tear. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, I like Badlands actually. It's a red source for Marsh Flats, and it also lets us splash a red card if our black card if we want to. Especially with Orzhov Signet. When does the Holiday Cube come down? I mean, the Vintage Cube comes down like a week and a half from now, two weeks from now. It just, it's two weeks from yesterday, so I believe. Hmm. Well, none of the cards we were looking for. Steam Vents is actually fantastic for us. I'm pretty sure it's just Steam Vents here. Miss Calc is cool. Ugin's cool. We got a lot of top end already. I'll take Steam Vents. Not going to take a Spell Pierce over a Steam Vents. Cryptic Command I love. Colgon's Command I love. I don't think we're cryptic commanding here. I'm actually tempted to just splash the Kolagons off the Marsh Flats and the Badlands and the Orzov Signet. Oh, <sighs> uh, there are millions of ways to make a cube. You just literally put cards in that you like. It's really, it's way... Yeah, I'll take a Kolagons command here. Gristlebrand... Interesting. Also, Shambling Vent to help with the Colagons command. Also, Library. But I don't think we want a Library in our four-color deck. No, there's no... No, there's nothing. There's literally... you can. There's Uncommon Cubes. There's Pauper Cubes. Like, you can, like, build a cube however you want. A cube is, a, is not a real official thing. There's no official rule for a cube. You just literally make it. You just put the cards in you want and, and play them. I mean, there's going to be ways to build it that are better than others, you know? Like, if you put 540 basic lands in a cube, you can do that, but it's not going to be any good. I just want Oblivion Ring. <laughs> Was there a stipulation on getting all three of these? Shut up and take my money! <laughs> a festive Twitch plays magic. <laughs> oh, God. Danny, what number should we do? Danny, I love you, buddy. Could I'll stick all the shrine. Kyrs, does that does that that link not work for you on mobile? Let me know. Um It's just Kozilek? It might just I mean, it's not Kozilek. It can't be Kozilek. It's got to be Godless Shrine here. Blight Steel Colossus. Talk about having it all. I think it's just Flame Tongue Kavu here. Dude, I'm so sad. Like, there, there was one draft where we saw Through the Breach and Sneak Attack, and we'll never see them again. We don't have many creatures, actually. It might just be Wrath of God here. I kind of like Wrath of God. We have absolutely zero creatures before turn four. Three of them are these guys. Ugh. Ugh. Um, I'll take Dire Fleet Daredevil here. Sacred Foundry is a nice one. Um, we've seen everything. We Inkwell, Blightsteel, all three Titans, both Emrakuls. We've literally seen all of the options. This is pretty wild. You are now my least favorite streamer. What, if you don't take the Kozilek, oh man, I should have taken the Kozilek. If for nothing else, then Brett's respect. 
Flicker Wisp could actually be decent, right? We can blink Muldrifter, P and Kieran Alar, Flame Tongue Kavu. I want to take this guy. This guy's a threat. What is Benevolent Bodyguard doing in this cube, actually? Why is this here? Is this a is this a bug? What the what is this card doing in here? What in the hell? <laughs> what? I don't understand, dude. That is so confusing. Kozilek came back. I don't know what we're going to do with him. We only have Nahiri to get these guys out, but, um, you know, sure. Wow, Fire Nice and Rakdos Return both came back? Hmm. Natural Order, 14th pick. Okay. Give her runes. Wow. Respect restored. Nice. Love it. How is Mother of Runes bugged? That doesn't even make any sense. This is, uh, comically, this is 23 cards. It's not bad either. Okay. Well. Let's not forget these guys. Oh, no, I'm actually dropping frames like crazy for some reason. I don't know why, but, you know, I'm sure it's, I'm sure there's a totally reasonable reason for it. Outside of Comcast being fantastic. Felidar Retreat, are you good? We also have these guys. I don't know if we play both of these. Uh, I actually increased my, we actually paid the extra $25 to get the, uh, the unlimited, so should the data cap should not be an issue. This deck is not very it's not very impressive. Yeah, I think we can cut Ulamog. We'll just run the Amrakul for the uh for the Nahiri. Wow, it'd be really cool if I could stop dropping frames, though. I think we, I think we stabilized, but who knows for how long? I'm kind of tempted to make this a little more aggressive. Like maybe take Pyroclasm out for like Brimaz, bring in like Felidar Retreat. Nope, still dropping a million frames. Cool. Apologies, guys. I like Dire Fleet a lot, but I think it's worth bringing in after sideboarding. Like, if they don't have anything good, then it's... It can be meh. I think I might take out the Wrath for now and bring in Avacyn. I think I kind of like this. So... 
sort by color. All right, so we got white, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Seems like a good amount. Blue, we have one. Marsh Flats does not get a blue, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't actually think we need a black. We have one, two, three, four black sources and literally one black card. Yeah, I don't think we need a swamp. We can also get both godless and badlands, so. So five, this is five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We still got one more land. Let's get another red, I guess. Sure. Actually, we want the we want the King of Oreskos early, so we'll actually make another white. I have no idea how this deck's gonna do, but maybe we'll find out. They gave someone else the food you ordered? Oh, man. I got fresh food. It's just not what I ordered. Yeah, that's not really... That's not really good. Get up and take my money. Stay true to the brood. Sulti draft Sultai and have fun. Oh, man. You're making it easy. Kyers, thank you so much for the support, buddy. Really, really appreciate it, man. Uh, snap keep this thing. We got answers for everything. Kyers, thank you so much, buddy. This is a, I mean, this is a pretty, um, our deck is not fast by any means, but we have a lot of answers to things, so. Now we got this flame tongue Kavu, too. Wild. Kyer 702. Shut up and take my money. My man. What's happening right now? Oh my god, I can't even read this. Snarky Sierra, give me one second. I gotta read this. Okay, well, we're not playing Dak here. That's for sure. I will condemn this guy and they'll gain one whole life. Man, you guys are great. Do you hear a hunter back there? He literally just groaned for like five straight minutes he was like Aah. i was like what oh my god snarky zero don't let them have cast their things stip anything that lets you prevent opponents from casting spells before they cast them not counter spells or takes cards from their deck ashiok mind twist thief of sanity ganti and having fun our priority god, i don't even know what prevents them from casting things this is gonna be a challenge dude snarky zero thank you so much dude you guys are great. I have a I have a friggin' a list of stips now. We're gonna be stipping all all the next two weeks. Oh, what up, Phil? Phil, are you uh how close are you to New Year's? You're probably like five hours away, maybe? Around there? Look at this guy.
Oh, Thalion Lodestone, I guess. Yeah, sure. Winter Orb prevents them from casting their spells. Armageddon. It's 7 a.m.? Phil, where are you? Oh, Australia. For some reason, I thought you were in the UK. Danny DB's in the UK. Phil, what's it like in, in, 2000, in 2021? 2021. They're trying to figure out if this works the way they think it does. It does. Do it. Don't do it. This is a very subtle play. Yep, they did it. All right. They figured it out. If we had a second red, I would have probably preferred Burst Lightning into uh, Dak Fade in there, but... No, that guy's good. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. I was like, what's, I, what's GTL? Do you mean FTK? And I, I, I felt like you did. So we, we figured it out. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I'm running out of things to kill their things with. This is definitely a uh, Wrath of God slash Pyroclasm matchup. <laughs> I'm surprised you would use the Tundra to cast this instead of the planes. You can keep up all kinds of things. actually kind of like that create a two to cat in my hand is little deck I know it's been coming for some time I wanna know have you ever seen the rain? Oh boy. Well, if they have any spell, they get to trade here. But if they don't, like we just get to eat this guy, which is totally fine. Can you sing about the bathroom on the right? <laughs> well, that's cool. All these decks to play Armageddon, just terrible. Any highlights of 2020 you want to share? Not really. <laughs> Not really. I mean... Ugh, God. Man, where's a Pyroclasm and two lands when you need them? boo doo boo doo boo doo Really? Mm. 
Cool, dude. Yeah, we're probably going to concede now. All right. So we're going to take out our own wear tear. Going to bring in Pyroclasm. Going to bring in Wrath of God. Take out Felidar Retreat. Oh, we're actually not playing Amirius Call and Shatter Skull. That's really bad. I always forget to add these, and it's always my fault. Well, it's your guys' fault, too, because you don't remind me. But it's mostly my fault, you know? We'll keep this. Presuming we draw some out of lands. I mean, cutting the Emrakul plan just means we're taking out Emrakul and leaving in Nahiri, and yeah, I don't think that's necessarily great. I mean, it's one card, and I think the upside is way, way higher. Whereas, like, we're not going to cut Nahiri because it's still super versatile. You got it. Hmm. So we go to six. I think we're just actually Muldriftering here because I want to hit lands. That is a very uneventful turn. I don't really want to cast P and Kirin Alar before we cast the Pyroclasm in our hand, so... Fascinating. I did not think he would do this. Weird. It's been coming for some time. Hmm. Lawscaping? What is lawscaping? I don't even know what that is. I don't actually have the Four Seasons factories. I have, I I need a I need a good Mishra's factory. Okay, well, boy, this Orzhov Signet's looking better and better. <laughs> oh lord uh -huh. seems good Their deck is doing a better version of what our deck should be doing. 
We also have nine sources of white, and we haven't drawn any of them except for the Orzov signet, so that's cool. Fascinating. <laughs> the next upkeep. Hmm. You know what? Sure. You can wipe the board. We'll flame slash and pyroclasm here. Or if we hit a white, we can just oblivion ring the Avison. Sure, that seems good. This is Teferi Avacyn deck with your Thraben Inspector Adanto Vanguard. Like, what? what is this, like, aggro control deck? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You got it. You got it. This deck is hilarious. Yep, that'll do. Cool. Wow, that was a terrible match. And, like, their deck was... Uh, I'm not going to say it was very good. It, it seemed very all over the place. Well, Emrakul's already a mulligan, so the question is, is this six cards better than a new potential six card hand? When did you work for with Bethesda? Like, two years ago, I did a bunch of events with them. I'll keep it. Mm, okay. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 42 degrees Fahrenheit. 42. <laughs> Voice the NPC. No, that would be... Voice acting, uh, despite being something I would love to try, is not really in my wheelhouse. Oh, wow, did they just take eight? Good lord. Hmm, okay. That seems good. Pretty sure we're flame slashing this, and next turn we get control magic. Man, can you imagine if we got to uh, Mana Drain here? Sure. I mean, I would probably take 8-2 if I was just going to gain through it back. 
Paying five life to draw two cards is a deal. What a bargain. Polluted Delta, Windswept Heath. This guy's taking all the good lands. Wow. Okay, there's a Golos in their deck for sure. Yeah. All right. Give me a wear tear. Eh, Godless Shrine, I guess that'll do the trick. It's not the same at all. Maybe it took Emrakul over Treachery, too. It's unfortunate. <sighs> Good out of Treachery. Oh, they're going to nine. Bloodbraid Elf. Hitting Doretti. Wow, that's really good. Pretty sure we just fractured identity of the Doretti. That seems good for us. Yeah, we're definitely burst lightning this guy. Or we could burst lightning the Doretti and just get rid of it. Nah, I'm gonna steal it. I do like a wear tear. Hmm. Oh boy. Yo, I can have this Doretti. Oh boy. If we hit another land, we can play Avacyn and Tear next turn. Oh, good. Six mana, huh? Okie dokie. Sure. <laughs> oh, boy. Embrace Shieldbreaker on a Doretti is pretty sad. Oh, cool. Two matches in a row where I get to play against Teferi. Really? You didn't tuck the Doretti? What? Oh, boy. Well, 
When I have no power on board, I cannot understand not tucking Doretti there. That is just a wild decision. Also would love to fracture identity of that Teferi in a future game. <laughs> yep, you got that. So they have two cards in hand. How bad can they be? Um, exciting and new. I don't really care about killing any of these creatures, so I'd rather just keep Duretti alive here. I mean, now we get Needle Spires, and, like, if I have Survival out and Embreath Shieldbreakers in my hand, I, I don't understand the situation where I'm not just, like, discarding this guy instead of killing a Construct. Okay, they discarded Devoted Druid to go get... Uh, this deck gets Emrakul and play through Nahiri. Goblin Rabble Master, sure. That's not super exciting. Also, if they play Euro next turn, we're definitely control magicking that dude. Mox Emerald. That's a good one. Is the viewer count correct? I have no idea. That seems wild. Yep, there's the Rabble Master. And I imagine they're getting Euro back. That would be my guess. Everything is happening. Yep. Makes me wonder if they're attacking with everything here. Everybody at Doretti. So we block two of these. Doretti takes three, stays alive. Sounds good. Oh, this guy also gets to survive, which is pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. Bring it all. Give it all to me. Do 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 Block this guy, block your two one Doretti Spaghetti. Uh no one raided me as far as I can tell. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Well, we want to start doing that, but we really don't want this guy to be uh, unchecked. So, I'm going to take him. Huh. Hmm. 
Oh, really? How long ago was that? Did I just miss that? I didn't see any raid. Weird. That's wild. Shipping a tireless tracker. So last time you got goblin wrap... Sixteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six. We can block twelve of it. Cool. Ah, oh, boy. Never get tired of losing the crater hoof in the four-color deck where you play absolutely terribly. Sounds good. So, just to be clear, we're at uh, 21, 22, 30, 37. Is that right? 21, 22, 30, 37. So, we have to block 17 points, and we have 12 points. Super cool. <sighs> yep, that's good times. Bring in Wrath of God. Let's change these before the next round. Shatter Skull, Amiria's Call. I think I just snuck something in too. Big fan of the content. It's really cool to see me the PC That was like four years ago. <laughs> All right, so what did we add? What got added in here? Did we take out the two lands? We added Wrath of God. What else snuck in? Oh, Kozlik snuck in. Get out of here, you. Look at this. Look at this. This tongue face that I meant. Um, Dark Dwarf is fine. Ugh, God. Most of their guys do die to pyroclasm. P and Kieran Alara, I guess. Hmm. Take Felt Arch Retreat out. Sure. All right. We'll see if this changes anything. I mean, having Pyroclasm and Wrath of God should help, but I mean, I don't know. I'm just getting real tired of losing to Crater Hoof out of nowhere. This is, a, this is a snap keep. <laughs> Christopher, I'm gonna I'm gonna have someone ban you. I'm sorry. It's just too much now. Exciting and new. I myself prefer RKOs out of nowhere as compared to Crater Hub. Used to kick with some jazz, no no go anymore. Yeah, no, I can't. I haven't been able to play music for a long time because of demonetization. If I want to make a living, I can't play music. That's literally America. I guess it's everywhere. I don't know. It's probably not an American thing. It's probably just a universal thing. Really want to kill this. I guess I will. 
I'm going to tear it up. They're like, joke's on you. Now I'm going to play an artifact. And I'm going to be like, oh, no, I could have gotten value. But they didn't. Ooh. And Dakariah Faden. Uh, you know what? Sure. Oh, yes. Um, white, white, red. Get rid of the two basics, I guess. Play this guy. Uh, you can play certain classical musics, but I just don't... Under I, I'm not a... I'm a much bigger jazz fan than classical music. We're not playing music for the sake of playing music. We're playing music because I like jazz. And also, like, there is some... There's some music... Like, sometimes music just gets flagged. Like, it doesn't have anything to do with, like... We could pitch Marsh Flats and probably Sacred Foundry. Play Godless Shrine. One, two, three, four. Nope. Four, five. Right, that's the thing. Like, even if you, if you, even if you're on like the, um, like the uh, the public domain music, like sometimes it'll still pick it up, and you have to dispute it, and you'll probably win the dispute, but it's just a pain in the ass, and it's just not even worth it. I mean, there's probably tons of royalty free Spotify stuff. That doesn't mean I like it, right? That doesn't mean I want to play it. Um, fascinating. Uh, smashing is better than flame slash. I think we're just pitching these two. And I kind of just want to keep this in hand. Like, there's no reason to cast this right now, especially because we do have six mana for the worm coil next turn. Oh, the system's 100% flawed. Like, that's 100% correct. Ah, survival of the shittest. <laughs> so, whenever you cast a spell that targets one of the permanents, you gain control of those permanents. So, I mean, if they play Euro, we can actually, like, Kolagon's command target it for two. And then, like, bring back Archangel Avacyn. I mean, that seems good. I don't know what they're going to get here. White noise might be public domain, yeah. A <laughs> wind chime and an oscillating fan is unlimited copyright free music for about 30 bucks. It's a good deal. It's probably the best deal you're going to get. Containment priest, huh? I mean, we have a land, so we can discard another land if we hit it. Or an Emrakul. 
Shuffle that gravy, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Big worms. We can also Shadow Skull smashing two things for one mana. Which would be pretty good. What if chat wrote songs and you and Mike sang them and recorded them? What if? What if? What a world. Pretzel Rocks. They have it all probably licensed for streaming and they'll actually help you if you get notices. Since then, someone broke their contract with them. Interesting. Got rid of a Bloodbraid Elf. Dryad. I kind of want to steal that Dryad. I kind of want to Dak and then steal the Dryad. I mean, we're definitely flame tongue kavuing that guy. I'm here for the mana screws and the top tier OP top decks. Me too, buddy. Me too. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're just making the emblem. Uh, so keep up Coligon's command. So we're going to hit this guy, and if for some reason he lives, we get to keep it. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's a spell or ability. It's, it's a spell. Whenever you cast a spell. Yeah, this doesn't count. I just lied to you guys. I'm a liar. Add a green. I think they're going to survival again. Always A B A B S. So always be surviving. If you have the emblem from Dak and you target your opponent, do you gain control of them? Can you make them get some of your fried? Get you some fried chicken. Chris, you want to go to Azel's? Let's go to Azel's sometime. So wait, they got Rabble Master put in the graveyard and then they're getting something else and putting that in the graveyard? I'm very confused. They're filling their bin for something. All right, so Containment Priest is gone. Dryad's dead. Devoted Druid's gone. Tireless Tracker is in the hand. But they just played a land, so I don't think they're Tireless Trackering. My confusion is it's high. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, big Euro. Oh, we're going to EOT Coligon's Command this guy, too? Oh, that's pretty nice. Go, go, Tireless Tracker. They're going to disenchant this guy? Oh, they're going to Wall of Roots and Tireless Tracker. Huh. Why not play that first, then play a land? What land did they play this turn? So they could have went one, two, three, play Tireless Tracker, play Island, one, two, three, four, get the counter. Yeah, that was that was not correct sequencing, my friend. Time player discards a card. Black, red. Here's a song for you. Frank, he's the magic guy. His friend Mike B likes Commander. Ski bop bop. Boop bop cha. He really likes Sulta. Boop boop ba. I don't know if I could use that. It's just, it's almost too good. I feel like, uh. I was like, magic is hard, man. Magic is hard. <laughs> I 
I don't know what's going on. I actually don't know any of the details on the KFC console. I've heard, I've heard things about it, but I literally have no idea. Oh, are we getting even let me attack with the euro? Dang it! Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. L Scanon, Happy New Year, buddy! Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Oh man, now we're on January's rent. You guys are awesome. You guys literally helped me pay my bills, and I really, really appreciate you all. <sighs> Linvala doesn't shut off. It doesn't shut off like survival. I'm almost tempted to bring in like Rampaging Ferocidon or Rakdos's return. We got all three Eldrazi Titans. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh my god. Right, but like, what is it? What's the console? Like, is it just a generic console? What does it play? Does it play PC games? Does it play Xbox games? I don't know what that means. It's console. Like, it obviously, Xbox obviously doesn't have their own line of games. And you can't play an Xbox game in a PlayStation, so you kind of need your own games for the console. What do you call a three mana, three two human scout who is up at two a.m. eating shredded cheese directly from the bag in the fridge? Is it a Chris Furter? What is this? What is this clip? Like B likes Commander Ski Bop Bop Boop Bop Cha. He really likes Solda. Boop Boop Ba. I don't know if I could use that. It's just, it's almost too... Frank, he's the magic guy. <laughs> it is almost too good. I kind of want Rakdos to return, man. Is that, is that right? Is that wrong? Well, they, they had a Teferi, right? Yeah, I'm going to bring a Rakdos to return, man. I want to Rakdos's return them. Hmm. Got to take something out, huh? What can what, what can it be? It's not Emrakul. We're definitely living that dream eventually. I swear we're gonna do it. Just play forty-one. Sounds good. I'm game if you are. Yeah, I'll keep the sand. Two signets, a wrath of God. Da 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 deal. Keep it. I mean, it's always sad when you don't get to like cast your shatter skull smashing, but that's life, man. Boo do do boo boo do boo do. We're going to call it Rent in the New Year. Zero, one, three, slash, three, twenty-one. All right. Man, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for the donations and the support. You guys are amazing. I'm here five days a week. Maybe six sometimes if you're lucky. Oh, man. Look at this double white, double white. We got Brimaz, King of Cats over here. What's this going to be? Bloodbraid Elf? It's always Blood Braid Elf. Cascade into Mox Emerald? Not the best. Probably fine, but... Probably gonna fire this guy? You fired. Um, yeah, one, two, three, king of cats. So if they play a creature, we can control magic. I, I kind of like that. I 
<laughs> you keep saying the KFC console fries chicken. And I refuse to believe it. Like, there's just no way that's a real thing. I thought the same thing. I'm like, okay, there's no way you'd put like greasy chicken next to a game console. Like, I'm just like, that's not a thing. I, I, Jonathan Harrison, dude, I'm totally with you there. I agree with you completely. And I, your feeling is my feeling. Okay, that was a good draw. Uh, one, two, three. Fuse it up. That's what's known as a twofer. But Mox Emerald is a onefer. So, you know. They could also just kill us with Colonnade. I don't know what to tell you. We don't have a ton of answers for a colonnade. They're going to get bad lands. They got scrub land. I was close. It was a land. It had land in the name is what I mean. Okay, that guy's good. That's a good dude. What, you get polluted delta back? Okay. Okay. I see how you're going to be. Buddy... My deck doesn't even need cards. I, I don't draw a lot of cards in this deck, unfortunately. Scrubland is a great land. I love the black-white lands. Ooh. Interesting. Well, we're getting rid of Renin 6 because that's just a lot of value. How does Goblin Dark Dollars work with split cards? Someone explain it to me. What was the question? Maybe you can get them to activate Colony during your turn control. Yeah, but then it does fall off because it's no longer a creature, so it's an invalid target. That would be amazing, though. Okay, things are happening. The aggression is happening. Don't hate that. Okay, but I can cast it, right? Because I mean, because this is this converted mana cost is four, right? Nifty Chris, where are you when I need you? So, can I actually target it with with Dark Dwellers? Can I even target Fire Ice or no? Yeah, I don't think I could target Fire Ice either, actually, which makes me sad. Oh, don't ask me. I haven't kept on a roll change for split cards. Oh my god. Christopher, come on, buddy. Are we going to lose to one colony, one collie boy? All right, we figured they'd kill Nahiri. That's fine. Don't love it. The converted mana cost of a split card not on the stack or of a fused split card on the stack is determined from the combined mana cost of its halves. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to play Wear Tear. That doesn't do anything for us. I want to play Fire Ice, which is four, so. 
Oh boy. I feel like we're just literally going to lose to this colonnade. I wish I had a quicken right now. That's really where you want to be. Dark Dwellers just doesn't do much on this board, unfortunately. Oh boy. My kingdom for a. Like, is it just worth playing the Dark Dwellers? Maybe. Oh, yeah, we definitely could have done that. That's a good point. Which would have been... Yeah, that probably would have been significantly better. <laughs> my, my, my mind was set on the fire ice, so I'm like, I'll wait till I figure out if I can cast the fire ice. So in my head it made sense, but... And then we'd still have an Ahiri in hand. And we could be searching for the... See, like, decisions like that are definitely my fault, and they're, they're going to cost me games. Yep. They have one card in hand. I think they're still long on this Celestial Colonnade plan. Three turn clock. This guy doesn't have flying, right? Oh, okay. That's a thing. <laughs> and we have 12 and a half minutes. They have four and a half minutes. It's not... Not the quickest match here. Conlani boy. What is that even? That's not a word. I am dead inside. God, I love Crater of Behemoth. Crater Hoof is a fun card. Well, we definitely drafted the cards we wanted to in this stipulation. Unfortunately, they just didn't come together the way we wanted them to. The secret is that he doesn't actually like Crater Hoof. That's true. If every time I lose to Crater Hoof, you take a shot, I, I feel bad for my audience. They'll probably be dead. <laughs> Where tear me one time. This is going to be a cat-centric match. I got, I'm feeling it. Hmm. Okay. Got five mana. You'll have six next turn, so I'm sure you're going to prime evil titan here. Nope, the KFC console is a real thing. That is a real thing. It's wild. Turn one for a soaring? Definitely on hoof. Yeah, sure. I'm killing that lady. Hey, lady. You got the love I need. Well, I was hoping for a three drop so we could actually have some value on this turn, but... Oh, the Soldier Boy KF KFC crossover we've always we've always wanted. <laughs> oh, good lord, man! Crank that KFC console, you! 
You know how it goes. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Still a two for one. Uh, I kind of like that a little better, actually. Guys, I said we were going to live that in a hairy dream, and I meant it. I'm going to discard a regular old mountain. I'm going to play Badlands. So next turn we can go Land Land, Gruel Signet, Felidar Retreat, Island. Yeah, I do remember when Soldier Boy made that, that Super NES console. Here comes the Sun Titan. Get back Birds of Paradise. Okie dokie. Did you play that from your hand? What's happening right now? Friend Wingmare. Wow. This has been a fun, this has been a very fun draft. Incoming 03. Boy. Boy, it was a, we're having good times here. Uh, something wasn't right. Oh, baby, baby. Well, that's supposed to. I got a stip. Only draft cards that win. Don't draft cards that lose. Brad, I feel like I've been trying to do this stip for my entire life, buddy. Wait, they didn't... They attacked me instead of Nahiri? Sure. This is a very weird situation. Oh my god. Okay. You got it. Oh boy. You may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. I will. Well, I was hoping for a land there, because that would have been cool. Oh, boy. Wow, MF Doom passed away, guys. Holy fucking shit, what a year. Literally... On the 31st day of December, like, the fucking year couldn't, like, just give us one thing. Wow, that's... Super cool. But it was not super cool. So, that's really disappointing. They're not even blocking the cat soldier? Give my signet back. 
It's my only red source. Ready for Avengers of Zendikar? It's actually fine. Like, we just get to take up Nahiri, time warp, take up Nahiri, and then attack with Emrakul, so... Like, presuming we we hit one land, I think this game is quite over. And the end. Cool. Wow, they, they Armageddoned us and they still lost. God, we still haven't put these stupid lands in here. And Koslik snuck in twice. All right, these two are coming in. My God, we're terrible at this game. Game one has been handicapped. Stop sneaking in, Eldrazi's. I think I want Rakdos to return. Digital sloth. Actually, if you're just if you if you're just referencing a song, that's totally cool, man. That is uh not a huge yeah, that's uh that's not a big deal. That's definitely just a an honest mistake. Um Have we even played DAC yet? We played DAC like every other game. We literally had an emblem out for DAC last last round. See, this is a sneeper. Especially if they want to go like, Crucible of Worlds. And I'm going to be like, no, buddy. Give me a flame. Give me a burst lightning so I can shoot this idiot. Okay. We had an emblem and then we literally Kolagons commanded their guy to steal their, their Euro. I was in the kitchen. Were you in the kitchen with Mama cutting onions? <laughs> Do you guys remember that old meme? <laughs> you got it. You want to see me ruin all their... Let's make it red, I guess. Red. Let me draw a white source. I want to draw... I want to play Brimaz on turn three, followed by Flame Tongue on four, followed by Avacyn. Nothing I'm asking is a lot. Just one white source is good enough, right? Also, if you guys are new to the channel, I uh, stream at least five days a week. And... Uh, we have a good time. So definitely consider following or subscribing. It's a great way to support the channel. Hopefully I'll see you guys again. And uh, we can hang out more frequently. Okay. They didn't. Okay. Sure. This is this is all just fine. Oh my god. The magic gods have smiled upon us. This is good. Looking good. Big Brim's coming at you. We can Flame Tongue Kavu the Cobra. They have two cards. I feel like we're in okay shape. <laughs> what? Well, I don't understand these plays. What does this do for you? I don't understand it. Do you just, do you just like, wrath the board as soon as you get a chance? I don't... <sighs> sure. They can't kill this guy, so we might as well get a free token out of it. Okay, this is a very weird decision. Mike B, when is your shift over three, you said? You got it. They have one card in hand. I think Brimaz is better than their whole their whole board. Why would you wrath here? I mean, you are welcome to take four if you want to block. 
Takes seven, I guess? Oh, boy. I mean, if we draw land, we can Muldrifter. Start recuperating, but... They're at a point where, like, if they tap that Mana Vault, they're just gonna die to their own Mana Vault, so... This is so weird. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a guy. Do they triple block Brimaz here? Okay, nope. Alright, they're just taking... Yep, this is a weird... <laughs> I don't understand anything. I'd let you shuffle my deck if you know what I mean. I know. Okay. Very strange choices. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. Consider following or subscribing over there. It helps out. It helps me out a ton. Uh, it's $5 a month. Or if you have Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime, you can link it to Twitch. Get a free sub every month. Super, super efficient and a great way to support the channel. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll check you out next time, guys. Thanks for watching.